Hi, in this video I'll be covering what tools you can use to find errors in your Excel formulas. You written formulas, thought it was all set, and hit the error key, and bam! Excel gives you an error. Short formulas are easy to troubleshoot, but long ones, especially when they reference multiple cells, are sometimes a pain to figure out. You can go through the formula, look at this cell and that cell, clicking through it, and there's some easy tools in Excel that help make your life easier and keep you from smashing your head when you don't know where that hash value error is coming from. Now these tools show up in the most appropriate ribbon tab called Formulas. It's the Evaluate Formula and Error Checking Commands, and they'll make your life in Excel much easier. So let's check it out. So this table is full of formulas. You can see that if I go under Formulas, go into Show Formulas, you can see there's a bunch of them, right? Let's toggle that off. And one way to see if your formula is working, if you, you want to see if it's naturally progressing through its formula, is to go into Formulas, Evaluate Formulas. You'll get this window where it says Evaluate Formulas. This particular cell is basically just doing a subtraction function. But if you look at it, it's taking it from other cells, H8 to F9. What we can do with the Evaluate Formulas is to kind of step into that. So it's referencing H8. If we step into that, you'll see it's also referencing C1, which is up here. We step into it. It gives us that value. Let's step back out. So this is a nice thing about this. It lets you kind of step into the formula and kind of dig deep into it. Now F9 is another cell here, but if we step into it, you can see it's a bunch of other formulas. And when we step into that, it goes back, it goes back into here. Let's step out. And maybe in this case, instead of stepping into each of it, we want to evaluate and see what it's doing. So we evaluate this formula. It's looking at those cells and it's going to give us the amount there. And that's going to be F9. If we step out, you can see that's 429, evaluate, and that's where we get our particular output. Now, that's how a successful formula is gonna work. That's how you can use that evaluate formula. But what if you have a problem with your formula? In this case, we know that our formula is giving us some output, and maybe we're sus suspicious of that output, so we just, just go through the evaluate formula process to see how it steps through it. But what if there's an error? And let's see how that works out. Now here, I've purposely added an error in to one of the cells here. And if I go under Evaluate Formula and go through the step in process and step in and step out, step out and evaluate the formula, you can see it evaluates to an error, right? The value error. And you're like, well, where does this come from? Well, one way we can do that is if we go into Show Formulas again and see and kind of patch our way back and look at that. But that's probably not ideal. What you probably want to do, another way that we can do it, is using the error checking function here. If I go into the error checking function, you can see that it tells me there's an error in the cell and a little bit more description about what the error is. And so it lets me troubleshoot it a little bit better. And so it's telling me the value used in the formula is the wrong data type. So is it a number? Is it a letter? Well, what we can do also is trace this error. So instead of looking at all the formulas in the cells in its entirety, this helps you give you a visual guide of maybe where the error may have started or maybe starts at. You can see that in this cell, we've only got two cells that it's referencing H8 and F9, but the error traces back to F9. So let's go to that cell. Let me hit previous a couple times and let's show the calculation steps, right? So it's going through the step. We saw this earlier, right? We go to evaluate and evaluates an error. And what's nice about this is it also gives you a visual cue of the areas in the worksheet where it's coming from. So we see, there's C1, there's C2, there's C4, and then there's A9. So it's, it mentioned there's a wrong data type. So what we can do is we can take a look. Okay, the, visually this is where it, they might be coming from. Maybe we can take a look. Well, is it, are they numbers or are they letters? So one way we can do that is to see if it's a number, it is number, right? I can click on this cell, press enter, that's true. Drag the fill handle down, these are all true. Unfortunately, my error checking windows disappear. Let's go back and Bring those back up, go to error checking, trace errors. Actually, I can, I could probably went to over here and did it. But now I've got this here, right? And so my other area is this A9. So what I can do, let's try to see, I'll put it over, is number. And is that a number? Press enter, false, it's not a number, right? And so this helps you kind of troubleshoot a little bit more because now I know out of all these four areas, maybe that's the problem there. So I look at that and that looks like an L, it's not the number one. So I type in one here, press enter, and my error goes away. So that's another way that we can do troubleshooting on our formulas. Not only can we use the evaluate formula, but if we've got 
a lot of different cells that are referencing, maybe you can use the error checking and have the arrows kind of guide you to which part of the worksheet might, have, might be causing this problem. So these two particular features in Excel will help you a lot. If you've got some combination of formulas and functions and you're getting some error somewhere, evaluate formula and error checking will probably help you out. I hope you found these tools useful. If you write a lot of gnarly formulas combining this and that, the evaluate formula and error checking commands are good tools to have in your tool belt. To see more Excel videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Well, then I got a joke for you. What do feet eat? Sushi. Sushi?